What's up, social media world? I wanted to take a second to talk about something I call non-negotiables. I challenge you to come up with one, two, max three of them. A non-negotiable is exactly what it is. Not negotiable. It's, it's something that you're not going to give up. It's something that you do on a regular basis that it would have to be an extreme emergency for you not to do it. An example for me of a non-negotiable is working out in the morning. It's pretty much not even on the table. So that means I organize a large part of my life and daily activities to make sure that I can go to bed at a certain time, to wake up at a certain time, to now perform how I need to perform. So a lot of my life has to be structured around this non-negotiable, which is a great thing because it holds me accountable. It makes sure that I'm not messing around on the computer or watching TV or doing something that I shouldn't be doing when I know that I should be going to bed so I can wake up and be happy about what's happening at 4 and 5 a.m. when I wake up at 4 and then when I'm working at a 5. That's a non-negotiable. It really doesn't matter what's going on even if I am up late for some reason. I wake up and I go. The other non-negotiable in my life that I live with 99% of the time, 360 four days out of 365 is not eating processed foods, not eating bread, not eating pasta, not eating rice. So the grains that I don't consume and the wheats that I don't consume and the breads and all that stuff I consume, that's a non-negotiable. I'm not going to do it. If I am visiting my brother in DC and I'm eating his pizza, yes, that's something I'll have once in a blue. And when I do have it, it's under my terms and my conditions. Not that it makes it better, but these are things that I am not going to do on a Wednesday night because I'm bored or hungry. Right? A non-negotiable doesn't have to be 100% of the time. Yes, of course, I take days off. But 7 out of 7, you know, 51 weeks out of the year, I'm in the gym in the morning. It's something that I'm not going to let go or I'm not going to give into unless it's an emergency or if it's just one of those days where I need a rest day and I'm and I'm consu- and, and I made that decision versus being up late messing around and then I use that as an excuse not to it, wake up in the morning the excuses leave when it's a not negotiable you plan when you're going to work around that if clearly if I go on vacation I might not be on the same schedule right so there's those certain terms and conditions that would that would affect my non negotiables I would suggest seeing if you can come up with at least two to three things that make you a better person because those make me better I feel better I look better when I exercise and when I don't eat foods that I know that are going to harm me I feel better when I do these these non-negotiables really structure and set parameters for other people in my life as well. People that had know me know that at 8 o'clock they're like, right, what are you still doing up? You know, it's just, and, and that's okay with me. I don't care if they're messing around, busting my chops. They know that this is a non-negotiable Ben needs to get home so he can wake up and he can go to the gym in the morning. And again, if you set these negotiables, non-negotiables, let's see how good you are at structuring your life to make those things happen and if you cannot succeed in that it's not a big deal we, we, we should fail far more often than we succeed but then that at least is self-realization as to hey maybe I need something more maybe for me to be held accountable I need a better support system I need someone to do it with I need a partner in crime I need to change the terms of my relationships. I need to change the way my family is structured at home and the procedures and the nighttime rituals and what's happening and who's going grocery shopping, who's buying the food, what are you allowing into the house. Maybe you're not successful, not because you don't want to, but maybe the willpower to be successful runs out and the discipline of being of doing that isn't the problem. It's just that you're too overexposed to having to use willpower all the time to execute what you said you were going to execute. It's more than just did I do it or not. If you didn't do it, it's looking at why. And if you did do it, it's looking at what you were able to overcome to make these non-negotiables happen. And then you can maybe go into other areas of your life that you didn't think was possible, but you've proven to yourself that you've been able to do this thing. And it's not for a month, it's not for two months. This is something that would have to be obviously happen over the course of months. 
years to know if is this something you can commit to. A lot of people commit to the gym for six months, but then what happens when life gets tough? If you're always waiting for the perfect time, it's never going to it's never going to happen. The perfect time never presents itself, and if it does, it's just a flash before your eyes because before you know it, something's up. And some people allow their excuses to run willy-nilly. What that means is they don't pick their excuses wisely or they're not particular with their excuses. Everything's an excuse and then it's be- and then it becomes easy to let these once non-negotiables become something that is very negotiable and probably not even on the table f- for argument anymore. It's just something that you don't do. My challenge to you is what in your life do you actually value enough to not let something get in your way?